Hello, everyone. My name is Frank Savage. I am the uh, Director of Engineering for Android Gaming and Graphics. i um, been a game developer for 30 years, uh, going all the way back to uh, Strike Commander and Wing Commander 3, um, all the way up to modern stuff. I'm uh, just coming back from a week and a half of vacation, so a little tired. Uh, <laughs> um, but uh, the main reason that I'm tired isn't because I did all this great vacation stuff. It was because I spent a bunch of time writing a Z80 emulator and building a computer from scratch using chips and breadboard. So uh, that's how I entertain myself. Um, <laughs> Android is, is one of the largest platforms on the earth. In fact, arguably the largest platform. And game developers want to reach as many of those devices as they possibly can. And with 2.5 billion monthly active Android devices, this is a very, very large market. Um, but it's hard to make games on Android for a number of different reasons. Um, Probably the biggest of which is the fact that the ecosystem is so fragmented. So there are a bunch of different OEMs, there are a bunch of different SOCs. Treble, which Ilian was talking about, was a great example of how we're trying to fix those problems. Um, but we haven't solved that problem yet. So we've gone around the world, people on my team over the last year have gone around the world, we've talked to game developers and we've started to synthesize out, hey, what's keeping you from realizing your visions and doing the great things that you would like to be able to do uh, on the Android platform. Um, first off, they said, well, geez, we don't know how to do this. Like, there's no information on it. So the good news is, a year ago, we actually created an Android game development page on developer.android.com. Um, we have Google presentations there. We have development tools there. This is only going to get larger. Um, but this is a great place to start. Um, we're also going to invest hugely in this, uh, those exact same things. So the tooling itself, the, uh, the ideas behind libraries and the platform and APIs, all of those things are going to improve uh, for game developers uh, as quickly as we possibly can. And I wanted to give you some examples of work that we've already done. One of the most important things in a game, of course, is having a consistent frame rate. Right? It's very, very important that the, that the player feel like the game is, keeps moving. Um, it turns out that's very difficult to do on Android today. Uh, so we created a couple of different things. One is we're completely rethinking how we're going to do multi-core performance. So this is things like setting affinity, uh, making sure that your threads run on the right cores. The cores are not homogeneous, so you have big cores, you have small cores. Being able to do all of that work together uh, and having an API set that allows you to do that is very, very important. Um, the other thing that's really, really important is making sure that you hit the frame rate. And so we have an API for that now where you can basically tell it, hey, I want 30 frames per second, and this will pace uh, your game effectively, the main thread, so that everything falls in the way that it should. Um, this is actually already integrated inside Unity. Uh, it's in Unity 2.19, 2019.2 uh, right now. Um, we're hoping to uh, uh, persuade Unity to backport it to other versions as well. Um, we need better tooling. Uh, today, if you look at things like SysTrace, um, it's not super obvious how you get any kind of information from that that's meaningful to a game developer. So um, we, we're investing in an entirely new framework uh, called Profeto uh, that will allow people to be able to um, get better, more sophisticated tracing um, and analysis of what's actually going on. Um, we need better distribution than we currently have. That's things like app bundles today in the Play Store. So again, having all, multiple different versions of your game potentially bundled into one thing, having only the ones that matter get deployed to the device uh, is critically important. Um, and it turns out that having uh, displays that are capable of 90 hertz is really interesting because those kinds of displays can not only do 6030, which is what a lot of us game developers are used to, but they can also do 90, they can also do 45. And you can hand tune your game's performance to best take advantage of both what the platform can do from a performance perspective, but also potentially what it can do from a battery and thermals perspective, which is also very, very important. Um, RAM usage on Android is problematic, um, mainly because it's no way to ask how much RAM is actually available. So uh, we would like to be able to uh, improve that particular situation. We're not quite there yet. Um, but we have made improvements to things like memory compaction in Android 10, which should allow your game to stay resident longer, even if people, a player, switch away from the game um, and be more resilient to things like the low memory killer killing it. Um, we also have uh, better tooling improvements that we've made already. So these are things like, for example, in Android Studio 3.6, you can now uh, much more easily debug and load APKs that were created with other tool chains other than the Android Studio tool chain. Before, this was a 15-step process that was very, very uh, exciting and tedious to go through. Um, 
Uh, and at I.O., we announced extending uh, app bundles to actually also be able to contain game assets as well. And this is a place, where, again, where we're just scratching the surface today. Um, there's a lot of additional improvements and a lot of things we want to be able to do here uh, to improve game development as well. Uh, and it turns out that we actually have some better hardware in the Android universe today, too. Most phones today are shipping with four gigabytes or six gigabytes of RAM, uh, and that turns out to be very useful for games as well, uh, giving you that extra room to maneuver. Um, if you'd like to hear more about what's new uh, in C++ and native support in Android Studio, there is a, a talk that you can go download and take a look at. Um, and the performance analysis talk, which is coming up in the next lightning round, uh, we'll talk about Perfetto and some of the things that we're doing there. So um, we want to help you because we want to get as many games on Android as possible because then they go out to the entire world. Thank you very much.